Hello, hello everyone, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Happy Tuesday, I hope you all had a good weekend. I had a bit of a busy one, but a very nice one. I went to Sydney to do a lab tour on Saturday um, of the research lab that is doing, obviously, research into uh, my my um, peripheral neuropathy which is called Chaco Murray tooth disease um, so that was actually really really interesting lots learnt lots of things and think they're pretty amazing at what they do and Sunday I was doing crafty stuff I was cleaning my desk what else oh I finished up a few things um, didn't quite get done what I needed to do but I was very happy with um where i got with that so i hope you all had a great weekend i have some very very exciting news tomorrow being the 18th of september stampin up has free shipping so in australia um free shipping um automatically happens with orders over 65 dollars so um if you have an order i know at the moment i need envelopes i need mini glue dots uh, we worked that out in a video the other day um mini glue dots i need clear envelopes and i need envelopes ready for christmas so i think i can get that order over 65 dollars and um get some free shipping so today i'm grabbing out a um new to me stamp set i haven't played with it yet this is from the september to december mini so uh, you can find it on page 46 it is the humble home stamp set so it also comes with a matching die now i have been asked by a customer um there is a close to my heart stamp set that comes with uh, one of the scrapbooking kits that has a house on it um I've been asked if it coordinates. I don't think it does, only because they were designed by two separate companies. And even though we now have those products, um, it is not something that was in mine two, three years ago when this went into inception and started to be designed and sized and all those things that go into the designing process. So I actually really don't have much of an idea what I am doing today. Um, I do know I want to use the peppermint swirls with this. Um, I was I've, I am a few minutes late because my uh, team leader Linda jumped in um, to borrow some sponge daubers from me that she will replace um, and she influenced me to get the peppermint swirls to, oh my dear word I'm so sorry about that I knocked you with my embellishments normally you're not there when I grab my embellishments so these are the peppermint swirls and um, I think she was influencing me with like a Hansel and Gretel um, style house. So uh, let's see what we can make. Please make sure you say hi on the way in. Uh, give me a like. Make sure you are subscribed and follow so you get notifications of when I go live every week. So I can see there are a couple of you here. So let's just see. I'm just grabbing up my screen here and making sure all comments and whatnot are working uh, before I go live. Now, technologically, I was a bit behind as well. So let's see, let's see. Here we go. Now it's doing what I need it to do. And there's no sound. Yay me. So let's flip around and see what we can do. I think I am making a Christmas card today. Although this um, Humble Home stamp set is an all occasion set. Uh, which is really good. But I'm going Christmas themed today. So if you already or want this set. Please tell me in the comments because um, it is very cute. 
sorry there guys i press the wrong button on my phone um i will show you what first got me interested um in this set so let's see if i have done the right thing which i have let's do a bit of a zoom here hello shaz how are you going today hopefully looking after yourself okay how's that that actually isn't too shabby at all i think we can deal with that i'm going to go grab the light and we'll be back to have some fun with this everything very well which is great hey Marjean how are you so Marjean do you have this set I know you're the person to ask because it's either you want it or you have it we have very similar tastes um what was I going to grab I was going to grab this is the reason I bought the set this whole reason the front of the catalog i just went oh my god i love houses at the best of times um but when i saw the front cover of the catalog i went oh, that's a bit cute so i purchased it <laughs> so that's what i that's why i bought it and let's have a look at it on page 46 Oh, I'm almost there. So page 46, we have a few more examples. So we have a welcome to your home, a thank you, a Merry Christmas, just a to and from on a tag. And then we have a Christmas card. And we have one that opens that says from our home to yours. Hello, Leslie. How are you? you want it but haven't got it yet well the free shipping um tomorrow on the 18th of september will be a great time to get this because this is 42 dollars together you grab a pack of designer series paper which is 26 that gets you over 65 and you've got free shipping on the two things so um i was saying earlier i need some um consumables so i need like envelopes and um clear envelopes normal wide envelopes i need glue dots so i need a couple of things so we're going to put our peppermints to the side for the moment because they are an end part of what we want to do so I'm thinking this house is a little bit Christmassy and I may want to use it first. But I am I'm thinking of maybe doing a little bit of piecing. I want to see. I'm just going to do some basic stamping. And oh, hello. Things have moved in here. I didn't push them down hard enough when I was going and putting them away. Okay, so we have a roof line. We have um, separate doors to the ones on this stand. But I just want to start simple and then we can go up from there. I have no idea what I'm doing today. So we could end up anywhere, anytime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We could... We could end up in a million places with a million dollar, a million colours. Hello, Maria. How are you? Now, I don't think any of my scraps, is this scrap big enough? Yes, this scrap's perfect. I do have a couple in there that are big enough. But let's just do this. So, I'm thinking I might stamp in Memento. I have a feeling that I may be um, colouring this with Stampin' Blends. Oh, that stays on saddle black, a uh, saddle brown. That is not 
going to help me. I need memento. I think I know where it is and it's right beside me if my other one wants to go back where it is told. Okay, it's not in there. We will find it eventually, I promise. Here we go. Memento. It gets used all the time, you see. So this is the first time I've used this stamp. So I am going to give this a nice rub, rub over and drop. And that is now um, the line. The stamped lines are just a little bit um, blurred and think of the right word and it's not coming to me um, they are not shiny they are matte okay I just had a couple of marks on that side so I'm going to give it ah that stamped beautifully okay now I did want to see what this stamp does with this particular image hmm it does it does kind of do exactly what i want so i'm thinking a brown kind of roof because i mean i personally have blue gutters but brown roofs are kind of brown or a red or something like that whoops okay pick this up that has now thoroughly stuck do not do that on a glass mat. Do it on a piece of paper. And then, that is because this stamp is quite solid, um, it gives some really nice stick. So now I'm just going over with one finger. So, <laughs> thinking what colour we could use. Maybe some grey granite will be nice and a brown but a grey hey Vic how are you I'm hoping I'm going to be doing something a little bit different to what you have done with this set Vic um Vicky does own this set she's a lovely stamping friend of mine we hang out a little bit too much sometimes and get all the same ideas and it's hanging out in the best kind of way okay so there I have my roof so that will dry back it won't be as dark but if you wanted it lighter of course you can um, you can stamp off so you can get the a lighter color by just stamping off okay so I've done that uh, what red colors do I have available here because I've got quite a few of my blends out with projects at the moment so I know I definitely want some light pool party on the windows and I will show you exactly why so by putting a little bit of bl um, blue on these windows it shows translucency so it just shows exactly how translucent they are now i need my color lifter just to blur that down a little bit so what color should I make the house? Because we're starting with something really, really neutral. So Vicky, did you see it's free shipping tomorrow? So I just go pounce over with the color lifter just to get it to go a bit further into the paper. So if I'm using these, these are definitely real red. But do I want to go for 
a neutral or do I maybe want to make it a blue house I'm I'm twiddling because I'm not quite sure what I wanted to make it now if it was my house it'd be blonde bricks because it's just what it is um, 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 um. I could do real red or I could do that has maybe I didn't let that um, dry enough that's just those lines have just bled a little bit I definitely did use memento though oh no one has any suggestions for me I'm looking and I'm not getting any inspiration so I might just go real red and now you've got to think of a door Vicky's saying real red awesome let's do that I am going to start with the dark and I'm going to leave the um, doorstep in that free so this is the dark so I'm going under here because I'm imagining these eaves would create a uh, shadow and then we've got oh, I didn't quite want to go over those but that's okay okay and there would be a little bit of shadow here and at the bottom of the windows I like to go dark to light when I um, use my stampin blends just putting a color palette there so then when I come in with my light hmm just let, that is lighter so I'm just going to do a blend here so I'm going to use some circular motions just grab those bits that I didn't quite get so just trying to be as precise as I can So I just like going over my darker lines first and then I can come in and fill the rest and then that will give us some nice um, shadowing and then I can always go in and blend more where I feel it needs it so I'm just going to get one little pop up there I knew that would happen and you've got to be very very careful with reds because they are notorious for not wanting to do what we want them to do so I'm kind of liking this just very carefully going up inside each scallop here just getting all those places I missed so I've got that I've done my windows I need to do the top and bottom of my um, top and bottom of my windows so I'm going to bring in grey granite here and I'm just I've got the bullet end so we're nice and thin so this is grey granite dark actually so it will match in with the eaves perfectly okay so I've got that 
Now for the door, do we do a green just to keep this in true Christmas style? And I just need to look at the front of the veranda. Um, a green, a green, a green. That is pretty peacock. So green wise, I've got that shy shamrock. I think that might look a bit cute. The shy shamrock. Let's just have a look up at our color palette here. What they look like together. I don't hate that. Actually, don't hate that at all. Think I'm gonna go for it. So once again, just adding our shadow. I'm also trying to push this red a little deeper into the cardstock, which I have done now. And then I'm going to come in with the light. So this show shamrock just does have a touch of blue in it. Um, I didn't grab the light. So it has a touch of blue. So it's just that playful kind of green. So just going over that dark line just to blend that in and then I'm just very carefully going over the rest so I I'm pretty sure you can see not necessarily with our roof line but I could go in and add some shadowing um, to our roof line I think that might look really nice so i've got some of our dark gray granite now that's that end i just want to check the brush end just so we get that really nice shading here and i'm not actually going to do necessarily any um any blending oh I do like that all the way down that roof line just adding a little bit of depth I just like that now our little scallops here do I just go in with the grey granite light Ooh, would have to be the other end that end has we'll see if that's better Ooh, that is basically the same but that's okay I'm going to go in with this and then we've like got that look of wood all the way around sorry if you can hear Owen he's so sick today and he's uh, not long gotten out of bed, which is good. He's had ample rest, which is good when you're sick. What do we think of that? I've just got to do a little bit of touch up here with our real red light. But what are we thinking? Did I hit the mark? Okay, just got a couple of white marks that I want to fill in. Oh, Louise has come to join us, which is lovely. So, what are we thinking of that? I think I like it. I think I'm actually ready to punch it out. So, let's see. And then I can have a look at some of our paper to punch the, uh, to pair it with. So you do get some windows and stuff like that uh, with, with that punch. Just going to use my little take your pick hook here and 
just leverage this out. There we go. Okay. So that's what we've got. I think I've punched it fairly well. Actually, you could make a whole village of these and put them on a card. But should we do that today? Should we do a whole village? Like keep one really like bold and then just do some, um, just some everyday ones like we could do them just in grey granite and add some shading and just or maybe have three houses together what do you think i'm getting ideas now <laughs> the ideas are flowing I uh, is doing rows of them, Vic. That's nice. Okay, so I have my bricks. But I'm even thinking of, like, doing stamped off. Sorry about that, guys. Just had a phone call. I've got to put my phone on. Do not disturb. Okay, so I've got this. I think I've got room for one house. So, let's do the bricks, stamp off, stamp on, and then maybe, oh, I love that look. It's actually a really nice look. And then let's add our roof line in just plain full strength grey granite well it's a bit off but it's not too shabby not too shabby at all um and let me just add our windows and doors because i can i can do that and we'll just add them in grey granite as well. So it's got detail. But it's a lot simpler um, detail to what we've added to the rest. And it's just in monochrome. So just using the same colour in different shades. So there we go. A very, very simple house. That's a bit crooked, but that's okay. People often live in houses where things aren't cut straight. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Leslie, that would have been because I did get a phone call. <laughs> so everyone, please come back and welcome back. And we do have a little circle um, die here that allows us to make these into tags. So we could put a little circle here at the top of the house. So let's have a look in here and see what we think. So it's definitely popping against that house, which was the whole thing I wanted. Um, let me see if I have this other piece of paper. I can see it. There we go. So it's either going to have to be three or five houses. So I vote three houses. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure my house is crooked too as well, Leslie. I mean, do you notice it to the naked eye? No. And that's okay. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Any better. a little bit better i don't think on the stamp they're actually straight 
Oh, I know. And it's Jamie who's normally here with us. I um I went and I did a bit of shopping this morning, crafty shopping, and I had to buy a new printer and stuff like that. Uh, her and I have been talking about printers recently. There we go. That once again not perfect, but close enough. Um, and I bought. I will show you. I bought this little thing from Aldi. So when I'm looking for my tools on my desk, they're going to be theoretically standing up in this stand that has silicon on there so I can just shove my tools that way and I know where they are. So of course my Aldi did not have them. They said experiencing delays. So my Aldi didn't have them, but her Aldi did. So she grabbed me one, but I actually really wanted two. So I went to another Aldi um, near me this morning and grabbed one because I've been out for a little bit. And I thought, oh, well, if her Aldi has got them back in, even though they said experiencing delays, then this other Aldi that always has so much stock of all the special buys um i thought that one would have it and alas it did so i was uh, very excited and then my printer ran out of ink last night so i had to go to office works and I had to print out some employment documents um, for my husband who started a new job on Monday. Um, so I haven't been able to feed uh, basic white cardstock into my printer and have stuff print out to look good and do colour swatches and stuff like that in a long time. So I thought since I've run out of all my ink, it's time to get a new printer. So I did. Oh, yes, you do now. I think, I think it was like $10. Maybe, maybe not. That's what I want to say. Don't quote me. I, the receipt was around here somewhere. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but that's okay. Oh my God, Leslie, that is the disadvantage of living in the country, isn't it? And it's not as if you can like order online or do anything like that either. That's frustrating. Okay, so we've got our three houses. Okay, I definitely want to use a Merry Christmas but we have a little bit of how we've got our three houses. How are we going to design this card? Because I probably plan on just making one card today. Because, you know, first play and all, I'm getting a feel for it. Definitely do probably want to put a peppermint um, here above, above there. So put, put a peppermint that's kind of what we're doing so i want to check and see if there's some designer series paper that might work for us oh it's in mildura oh lucky you don't need a passport to go interstate i'd imagine living on the border of a country would be um terribly frustrating Oops, sorry dropping things all over the shop here now move you guys on my replay i'm just grabbing my designer series paper and we're going to have a look through this is winter will that work I'm just going to literally we're going to be flicking through i'm looking at the backgrounds well, that's the wrong green. Well, that isn't half bad. One, two, three, four. There must be one missing. No, it's stuck here. Mm, 
No, not really. And uh, I know it's a lot of same on same colour. So we're discounting Ness of Winter. Okay, we're just going to go through until we go, yes, that works. Okay, so Regal Winter. I do love this one. No, they're maybe a bit too florally for the backgrounds. And these ones are all way too florally, but I love them. They're just not for what we're going for now. Okay. Okay. Sentimental. Sentimental Christmas. So this is our um, set that is going towards children's literacy um, a, a portion of the sales uh, uh, I don't don't quite think the this one I do love this one I do really really like that one that is one that tickles my fancy so I'm going to leave that one out and see how we go. So we've got Sentimental Christmas out. Snowy scenes. Now we might, we might just have something in here that might work because these are a bit cute. And I can't wait to think I'm on the paper. Aha! This is what I was thinking of. Do we use the houses and just put these ones on a circle? Because then we've got the houses on the houses. So we have a whole village. That's the paper I was thinking of. I thought, oh, that's a great stripe. Yes. Oh, the lemon curd. Lavender is making lemon curd. And hopefully we are also getting lemonade um, scones. Oh, we certainly are getting lemonade scones. The, tree, the trees or the houses? You like the trees, Vic? Okay. Gentle. I heard a big bang. Okay, snowy scenes. We've got Regal Distressed, and they're just patterns. I'm not quite sure they will go. And then we've got our festive glimmer paper. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, hold on here. The trees, really, Vic? I've seen the trees used so much, and I like the trees. Um, the a little bit festive paper here. So this is just three pieces with all the die cuts. Okay, fair enough. Ooh. But I haven't got them yet. I may be doing three in a row, but it's my card. Yes, it is big. But I've got two good options. Two great options, actually. Okay, a little bit festive. can go at the back with this paper. Okay. I have my paper in alphabetical order. I've got designer series paper first, then specialty paper. So, um, I didn't keep the snowy scenes out though. So, makes it easier to clean up. I 
don't really have the right things out. Let me just move. You don't want to know what just happened. All my paper just went upside down. <laughs> One could cry when we drop things like that. Enough, luckily, nothing came out. But let's try this again. We've got a few dog ears here, but I think everything is safe and sound. Okay. Now, hmm, what colour is in snowy scenes actually? It's Poppy Parade. So it's not quite real red, but it's actually quite a dark Poppy Parade. And then this one is Sentimental Christmas. We've got Poppy Parade again, but there's no Poppy Parade in that. But we definitely have a little bit of pool party, some garden green. So just thinking because of the whimsical colours, this may look better. But obviously um, there is going to be a backing piece to it. Otherwise it will be way too busy. And I'm going to have these little confetti hearts that come out of the punch. I don't know if I showed you. Because we get the window, we get the heart, and we get the dot that we can put on. And we could have decorate our whole tree with these houses, which would look very cute. Hey, Beryl, how are you? So, getting my use it up. Well, maybe I just want to go straight to my dies. I think I want to go straight to my dies. Okay. So, Stylish Shapes has... No, I don't want a circle. I want, like, a label. I know what I'm after. I just have to find it. Nested essentials might work really nicely because we have like, everyone calls it the coffin, but we have like the coffin. Something fancy is a bit small, but I'm liking the size of this. Oh, thank you. Uh, in the paper um, margin or the one I coloured. They are pretty bright. Now... The other option is countryside corners, but we've got to do a little bit of like testing, just laying the flowers, the flowers, <laughs> the houses on like I could do deckled rectangles, but I thought maybe something with a bit of shape like those two would work really well and then that will make our houses the feature so wait see the big one's going to take up a whole lot of space a whole lot of space so if i was to So I'd probably put these two in the background and then this one like here and that would work really nicely I think on the nested because then you see all of your corners okay I like that Ah, uh, yes, you meant the DSP, yes. I thought you did. Okay, so 
we're definitely going to be going with a landscape card because I am using this. And unfortunately at Aldi, I wanted a new one of these because my one is, um, the barrel is cracked. Um, but apparently they're experiencing delays as well getting notes. So, yes. Let's do that. Let's pop that in there. So far, my little tool holder is working well. This is exactly what I wanted it for because I lose stuff under stuff on my desk, which um, isn't desired. Okay, great. Um, let's cut this right now. So then I have some colour. I know what I'm doing. So 10 centimeters so we're just going to have a small border and I think I'm gonna lose on this side actually so you can see we've got lots of houses on this side but we've kind of got dead some dead space on this side so I'd prefer to lose that dead space and get closer to the trees so then the piece is a little bit more balanced because we are going to be seeing those edges so I'd like it to be that little bit more balanced okay so let's just okay so we are definitely still seeing houses what I wouldn't give for Stampin' Up! to have vellum right now. Um, do wonder if the next one down would still work. And I'm also wondering what colour we go. So whether we go with the pool party, uh, snowy scenes, pool party that's in there and then blend we could blend some green on the bottom and then some pool party around the top oh sorry Bev you need to see my holder you're a bit late <laughs> now Bev did you see that there is um very fr there's free shipping tomorrow so they're just the tools I've got out so far and used So I know um, there were quite a few email issues. I didn't get the email. So I did have to go in and change my preferences in my email. So where are my houses? Just let me let me check here. That's still that actually that maybe works a little bit better. Okay, let's grab a piece of pool party and cut that out. Ah, very good, very good. Just free shipping is some, although I don't think I did free shipping last time it was offered because I just incidentally done an order that I needed in a timely manner. Not that we ever know about free shipping beforehand I will preface that with you I didn't know about free shipping until I woke up this morning so don't think that um, we hold it from you because we absolutely do not um, it's normally a flash kind of sale it's or promotion it's not not something that's pre-planned look at that perfect love it when i can find the perfect size scrap okay mini stamp and cut and emboss machine i need plates okay plates mini stamp and cut and emboss machine we are ready to rock. 
Okay. Don't need that. I need these two plates down first. It's going to be incredibly helpful. I'm being currently blinded by my sheets on the line at the moment. They're flapping about. It's such a beautiful day outside. Sorry, I just I like to have the um, handle on my right hand side. <laughs> okay. Righty -o. That is cut and has that beautiful um, texture that we look for from these essential nested dies. I love that texture. Now we haven't even worked out our sentiment yet. I think it's going to be the last thing we do, but that's okay. So let me grab my pool party ink, which is right next to me and I need a corresponding blending brush not one there just before I grab one out I wanted to see if I already had one out which I don't they're little blending brushes they're big ones not in the right colours I will use this one and we will see how we go and I want to show you how I there are kind of two ways you can check if you've got excess ink you can rub it on your paper like that there is no ink or you can get your roll of um, paper towel and just give it a rub because you've got a bit of texture on it and also fluffs up your brush really really nicely okay so pull party oh my dear word i hope everyone didn't see that so you see we are going to get a bit of contrast with that um, outside but I do just want to give it a little bit more so just giving that nice pounce so just darkening up these edges so you will see the difference just want it prominent and I do find um, brushing both ways helpful so sometimes I go anti-clockwise and sometimes I go clockwise so this isn't when I show you the back and then I show you the front and then I pop it on here you can now see that little bit of difference that the blending gives it just gives that whole piece a little bit of a lift okay perfect well we all know that I am but you know Oh, it even fits my blending brush in there, Beth. I'm going to have to show you. Because these little flower things, actually, they're not connected. So I was able to put my blending brush in there. That's perfect. Okay, just give this a little spritz and a clean. So then we can... Go ahead with the next stage of assembly without getting rogue ink everywhere. Okay, I don't believe I need that anymore. Great. Um, houses, bring back our dish. Great. Um, I think 
I just want to assemble on here first. I'm going to need my dimensionals. So I want these back two houses flat. So definitely kind of thinking like there and there. And then I'm totally happy to cover these up. Thanks, Bev. I thought so. That's why when I saw it in the catalogue, I went, yes. Even though it says it's a vinyl um, accessory, I'm there going, no, it's not. But anyway, what they don't need to know what I'm using it for. Okay. And then popping this one here. Or do no, I like that as a back row and a front row, imagining a little street in between. I quite like that. Ooh. Okay, so we need multi-purpose glue. I also do need a drink of water, so just bear with me a second here. Okay. Oh, by the sounds of it, our um. I say the royal owl. Our um, scones are going in the oven, but it's a shame because I haven't eaten lunch yet. And I definitely want to have lunch before I have scones, but then I want warm scones. <laughs> it's so very, very hard dilemma. What would you girls have? Lunch first, then scones, or scones, then lunch? I'd love to know what your priorities are. <laughs> okay. I can tell my glass mat is very, very clean. So I can make this. I don't know. Is that. Ah, it's not straight. Is it? Where's Punch? Do they angle in? I don't know. I can't work it out. Whether it looks... No, that looks better. Like you I still had some wiggle room, hey? Scones for lunch. Scones and scones. Oh, Bev. Oh, if only I could share some with you. Oh, okay. It's everyone's in the green, so I'm having scones for lunch. Right. And it's fresh made lemon curd as well. Obviously, because Lavender bought me the pot. Hopefully she used the new another Aldi find. How many would you like one? Two peas. Two? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um by the looks of it, you're sharing them with me, guys. They have to be warm, yep. Yeah. Even if you just give them 15 seconds in the microwave. But yeah, if they are fresh out of the oven, definitely. Okay. Maybe this whole piece also needs to um, go on dimensionals. Okay. I kind of want to preserve at least one of, maybe I can get both. Yeah, I preserve, no, it's not straight though. Do you just want to preserve both those, um, the, the, the four corners, six corners actually, I'd like to preserve. So let's bring this in. Here. Bring this in here. Now we do have the small Merry Christmas. It's actually quite small. But what I was thinking, because there's a bit of a 
just trying to work out. Maybe in this dead space here-ish, I could do the Merry Christmas and maybe, do I have a... I don't think I have a punch small enough. Do I have... Or do I just... Hmm. Let's just stamp it first and foremost. And kind of thinking grey granite again because we've already used it quite a bit. Or I could do real red. Maybe real red. Bring that real red back in. Um, now I used a blend. That's why I can't see my ink. Real red. And then I'm definitely thinking a white card base. Perfect. Oh, that is so dainty. I love that. I am tempted to hand cut this out you can tell me i'm crazy and i still do need to add um one of our peppermint swirls what are they called just real red and white peppermints that's a bit easy just want to add this on first while i'm thinking about it So what are we thinking so far? Because I don't think it actually needs embellishing as such. Because it's pretty busy. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, they're super cute there in the middle. I really, really like that. I feel my scones are coming. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Lavender. Um, a scone, anyone? Because you do know I'm going to have to try all them. Oh, yeah. No, no, while I'm live. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure my peppermints go back in. They are safely away. Okay. Oh, they are warm. They're collapsing warm. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very good. Very good. Am I rude for eating while I'm alive? Mmm. Very, very good. And just... Of a lemonade scone, so very, very simple. Mm. So let's grab my sprung scissors so I can do this. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, everyone said I needed to eat them warm, so I am. Mm. Yeah, Laf makes really nice lemon curd, Bev. And it's actually not too sweet. It's, um, yeah, it's really good. Because I do like the balance of the sweetness and the tart of a lemon. So now that I've got more of you on here, who already owns the Humble Home set? Just while I'm finishing up here. Oh dear.
there should be a rule about not eating at your craft desk. Oops, I'll clean that up when I finish this last one. You do, Bev, yes. And you've um you've had done quite a bit with it. I would like to um show the girls at some stage with your permission your concertina houses because Bev um punched a whole lot of houses and made like a concertina and put um words in it it looked really good as a christmas display this one's gonna collapse Okay. No, oh, I even got cream on me, girls. That was a little bit close to my stamping for my liking. Okay, I'll just grab my cloth, give it a dry. What cream on my glass mat? don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Oh, very filly. Very nice. Okay. Just remove all remnants that were left off my hands. Great. <laughs> exactly, Bev. That is totally what I get for eating in front of you. Okay, so straight in here to just trimming this out. Me turning that corner was actually going to be really, really hard. So I aborted before the corner of the M. And now I'm not fighting with a huge piece of cardstock that's getting in the way. And a nice turn around. See, okay, great. Let's pop that over there. So, we have the petitest Merry Christmas. So, you can see it does pop off there. Do need to use my trick though, um, and I don't know if you can. I'll show you. So, this. Where I have cut, there are a few corners just sitting up. So rather than just getting annoyed with them, I take a bone folder. And I do this most times I, um, I hand cut. And I just smooth around my cut edges. Okay, I can even fit a bone folder in there think I'm sold well I already bought it so now it's sitting really nice and flat which is what we're after okay dimensionals for this one I need to get rid of my paper towel it's taking up way too much space and this shouldn't have been on my desk should have been in here. Great. Okay. Dimensionals. Scissors away. <laughs> okay. Scissors are locked and away. Okay. So I have my dimensionals. So 
So I think I'm going to be fairly generous here. I'm definitely going to use at least four. We'll see if I need a fifth, but I think we might actually be okay. Okay, four was a good number. I hope that um, poke didn't go all the way through, but we shall see. Hopefully it's behind the, um, the houses. Not quite. Luckily, I did just place that down. I think that's as good as we are going to get. Maybe a mini dimensional on here. If you don't have mini dimensionals, you can definitely cut down um, the sides of um, your normal dimensionals or even cut your dimensionals. So there is lots of things you can use if you don't have the minis so I am going to use two just so it is a little more stable okay there we go great now I haven't worked out yet where this is going to go so i think we might use this tool like a lever and just pop it around and see where it will work best so i can just use this as a lever actually i don't i think that will work wonderfully. What do we think of that? Just a little Merry Christmas there. Um, it's not on a card base yet. <laughs> Let's see what I have. I do not have any pre-cut card bases. So let's start by, or end really, by cutting one of those. Okay, got this stamp set, put that glue over there, card front. Grab our trimmer. So I want to score in half. That will do nicely. Now, I do always press with my score blade, but I never press with my cutting blade. All I do is just put my finger on it and I guide it, I guide it through. There's no actual downward pressure when I do that. So I do have a pre-made card base for later. And let's see how we go here. How are we going for time? We're a little over an hour, but we did some colouring and working out. And, you know, when it's the first time you've played with something, um, it normally takes a little bit extra time. But I did love Vicky's um, suggestion of the other paper. But I did just want to go in a different 
direction. So I'm thinking that works. Me. Mm -hmm. Do we try a real red card base? Okay, let me see what I can reach here. Occasion craze is not going to help us. I do have a pre made real red card base, so I can check that. And I think it might pop a little more on the red. Now, are we still in agreement that it's a little busy? I don't mind the busyness. Just gives it... Okay, so... The real red or the white? Just going to double check. I, I'm even thinking maybe this pink, which I have a feeling is actually um, petal pink. I'm thinking petal pink may work as well. Even though we haven't used it in there, it is in there, if that makes sense. Just having trouble getting the petal pink paper out actually. That's where I use a pair of scissors through the hole to pull it out. Right. Okay. So, already have one here. And I actually think the petal pink. They yes, they were lovely. Thank you. Everyone's very jealous. Oh, this, we made a double batch. <laughs> so there's a lot. Yeah, red does tie it together, but I actually like the petal pink for letting the red shine. Pink. Yeah. That's what I was thinking as well, Marjean. I just... It's, it's a colour without being totally in your face. So let's get our glue. Do you just want to do a little bit more here? It's not quite burnished enough. I think because it's so playful, Bev, I think the, the red is kind of, they're making it a bit more serious where it's definitely a playful card. embellishments because I could definitely tie this petal pink in whoa that was way too much of a zhuzh and now I've got glue all over my hand because I can feel it I think that will just have to live exactly like that okay no embellishments Bev said we're just going to leave it at our single peppermint oh someone came in and picked something up off the floor for me I didn't even notice it okay so that is our finished card and if I could find the stamp set I would show it so this has been my first play with the Humble Home Bundle. So you can buy them separately or you can buy them together. So this isn't a Christmas set. Uh, this is just a house set. It definitely is multifunctional. You've got thank you 
Thank you for the sweet gift. Merry Christmas. Welcome home from our house to yours. So the Merry Christmas from our house to yours works really, really well. Thank you, Vicky. I'm glad you like it. I know we were having trouble when uh, we all first got the set finding um, cards that we really liked with it. Now I think we've all made cards that we really think are cute with it. So this is definitely a playful one. Had I have used your paper, Vicky, from Sentimental Christmas, it would have changed the whole feel and just made it a more traditional cut. So you just went with something a little bit different today. Thank you, Marjean. Um, so don't forget, we do have our free shipping tomorrow, which is the 18th of September in Australia. Orders over $65. Um, and if you need any help, please reach out. These You can put these in your wish list already or even the little peppermints. Um, or the nested essentials dies. So you can definitely um, put them in your cart, have them ready for tomorrow, and then tomorrow all you have to do is check your order and um, check out. So that's a good thing I love about the online store. I can definitely uh, build my order and um, then I don't forget anything because I just log on, add what I need to the order and then go on with what I was doing. So I used the nested essentials guys as well as a blending brush. So that is everything I've used. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I will see you on Thursday on my YouTube live. So make sure you go over there and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.